Assalamualaikum Let's continue with part 2 For another discussion So let's continue with uh, The novel discussion Here I'm going to list on The important decision Apakah important decision uh, Keputusan-keputusan penting yang telah dibuat When Apa yang dikatakan keputusan penting adalah When Dawan decided to accept the scholarship It is important because It, it determines that Dawan wants to uh, uh, she going to to fight for her right and then it is going to be her fight to actually uh, continue her study and then a uh, father uh, important decision is when grandmother decided to support Dawan it is very important because it give Dawan moral support uh, give Dawan the encouragement it give grandmother support is important because it, she give her motivation grandmother makes her strong she is the backbone she's the one who actually uh makes her feel strong in order to to go through these challenges and then when father decided to give permission to down to study in the city in an important decision because it is uh important for for down to get finally to get father's blessing to end the conflict and also to actually go study in the city with uh in peace okay and important decision also when Dawan and uh, when Kwai decided to give in and support Dawan to study in the city. So Kwai he has changed his character. He has become better because first it was loving the loving brother, and then the conflict happened. He was become very selfish. He was very jealous. But then again, there's a dark kesilapan dia, and then he was becoming the good guy, the the one who sacrificed his own dream. Uh, because he know that this is not his right to get the scholarship. So this is very important. Important value. Uh, important value, nilai-nilai yang penting untuk dawan is determination, kesungguhan, respectful, hormat, menghormati, bravery, keberanian, loving, kasih sayang. So respectful to her father. Dia tak kurang hajar, dia tak root, dia tak lari rumah, dia tak rebel, they don't really violent. So it is important because she still, she wants her father's blessing. Determination, kesungguhan, because she determined to go and study and determination to actually uh, protect her right, right, her. Bravery, keberanian, if she's not brave, she will not walk to the marketplace alone. She will not walk and see the head monk alone. And she will not be able to face father and argue with father and has a debate with father. Loving, if she doesn't have this loving, uh, she she does not love uh, quite, she will not give the umbrella. They will also be fighting and maybe she will hold crutch, you know, like uh, the poem, a poison tree, the anger becomes a, a fruit, you know, that is, she, she thinks of the family, she is very loving, so that is important to Dawan. How determination is shown. How? When Dawan determined, was determined to see the head monk, because bersungguh-sungguh jumpa head monk, when Dawan was determined to accept the scholarship, dia bersungguh-sungguh untuk terima scholarship tu, dia buat keputusan, tegas. When Dawan was determined to persuade the father, she bertegas, dia bersungguh-sungguh nak pujuk ayah. And when Dawan went to the marketplace to buy lotus, but when she want to uh, get married from uh, head monk, uh, she went to the marketplace alone. Okay, and also when she was very poor, she still want to get to buy something to head monk. That is nice. Okay, I'm going to share with you sample drafting. Ini yang saya cakap bila you nak jawab soalan, you have to know, cari kata kunci dan brainstorm your idea. Make draft. So how can we make draft? So this is a sample that I'm going to show you. Um, this is uh, uh, written by uh, uh, some uh, students. So ini tengok soalan dia. The, the one in uh, green is the one that has uh, drafting, basic idea, how to answer the question. Okay. Which part of the story is unforgettable? Terus chanting when Dawan left the village to go study in the city school. And give reasons why. Senang je Dawan got blessing from father. She reconciled with Kwai. Reconciled maksudnya berbaik semula. Uh, you boleh juga cakap because uh, Dawan's uh, conflict with Kwai is over. Atau mau cakap, Dawan is finally uh, become good 
have good relationship with Kuai. Ha, boleh juga macam tu. And brave. We must be brave. And how is this shown? Support your answer with close reference. Bagi tiga. Bravery is shown when that one was brave. Uh, that one uh, bravely went to see the headmark. That one bravely stood against Kuai and protected her right. That one bravely faced father's wrath and tried to, conv trying to convince him. Nampak tak consistent kat situ cabaran-cabaran yang dihadapi. Next, uh, ni pun nampak tak? An event that I find it to be important. Tulis terus. When father finally gave permission for Dawan to study in the city. Reason. Sebagi dua reason. Because sebab apa? It's the moment that ended Dawan conflict with father. Yang akhirnya konflik Dawan dengan bapa dia. It's the moment that ended Dawan struggle to achieve her dream. Nampak? Selesai masalah. You can say that because that finally Dawan saw her problem. Number two, Dawan uh, no longer fight with father. Itu bahasa mudah yang kita boleh guna. And then next question in the novel you have read. Choose one character. Pilih terus. Character apa? You dislike. Pilih kuai. Kenapa tak suka pilih kuai? Selfish. Nombor tu? Ridiculous dawan. Boleh juga. I boleh cakap kuai was jealous. Kuai was unkind. Kuai was uh, a bully. That will be good. Then just bagi tahu dua reason. Dan support dengan. Yang ni kan? Okay sebelum I nak bagi tahu. Uh, nak, nak, nak ke uh, seterusnya Kalau you perasan ya, Ini I boleh cakap jadikan Peringan isi pertama Itu juga ada introduction kan Maksud ni peringan isi pertama Cerita in detail Cerita ni bukan bagi tiga ayat ni sahaja cerita Satu peringan Ini peringan kedua R1 Ini peringan ketiga R4 uh, R2 Dan ada conclusion Jadi empat peringan Ini pula macam bravery Ada tiga bravery Jadi ada tiga peringan isi Okay, awak kena kuraikan bagi evidence. Lepas tu bagi personal opinion. Okay, personal opinion tu pendapat peribadi awak mengenai benda ni. Uh, awak perlu bijak menganalisa novel ini supaya uh, bila awak tulis jawapan, dia nampak ada kata kunci yang awak awak sebut secara konsisten dalam jawapan awak. Maksudnya, kalau contoh awak jawab bravery kan, kalau awak cuma tulis, Dawan went to see the headman, kita tak nampak elemen keberanian kat situ. Satu perkataan ni penting untuk menentukan awak faham atau tidak soalan. Jadi awak kena ambil kata kunci itu, jadikan, letakkan dalam perenggan jawapan awak secara konsisten. Kena letak berani. Walaupun ayat isi awak betul, when to see the headman, tak ada salah memang ada dalam novel. Tapi awak tidak menjawab soalan, awak takkan dapat makan yang baik. Okay, so that's how it is. And then a, a great student, the the candidate who get, uh, want to get A+, plus, consistently build and develop your paragraph with the enough evidence, with the strong evidence, with the strong opinion. You give your analysis, you give your critical thinking, your critical idea. How do you see that? How do you see the issue? How do you discuss the issue? How do you give your opinion on this issue? So we want to see the, the maturity of your idea, your sophistication in writing your essay and how consistent you are and every paragraph this is very important that's when susah nak dapat markah uh, susah nak dapat uh, orang kata uh, perfect score because you have to be consistent daripada awal sehingga akhir consistent dengan ada apa dengan you balik pada soalan ada tak logik tak logik ataupun tidak relevan atau tidak dengan uh, tugas yang diberi okay the task so and uh, ni sama jugalah perenggan event that you find to be important. Satu perenggan cerita pasal event saja, Detail sedetail-detailnya. Dan masuk perenggan baru. Perenggan isi ketiga, uh, kedua. Uh, when uh, Dawan solve a problem. Finally Dawan, uh, Dawan solve a problem. Ceritalah problem Dawan, Dawan apa sebenarnya. Apa masalah dia. And conflict with father. Perenggan baru conflict, uh, ends the conflict with father. Macam mana conflict bermula. Apa conflict sebenarnya. Apa kisahnya dan apa kesudahan dia. Okay, uh, then bagi konklusi, uh, conclusion berdasarkan apa yang awak bincang tu. Then that's saja conclusion. Character, character that you dislike. Uh, kalau boleh terangkan sikit saat kuai tu siapa, abang kepada uh, adik kepada uh, dawan, lepas tu dia ni bijak juga, tapi dia ni selfish, dia ni agak root. Bagi dua sebab, selfish cakap perenggan pertama, isi ni, okay. Uh, selfish ni pentingkan diri. Macam mana buktinya? Apa pendapat awak? And dia ridicule sedawan. Macam mana dia ridicule sedawan? Okay. Uh, kalau awak rasa dia, awak ni susah nak bagi-bagi awak, awak cakap lah, they try to steal dawan's chance. Try to make dawan give up the scholarship. Nampak tak? Boleh guna kat situ. Awak boleh ambil kenapa awak tak suka? Why? 
Okay. Mm, next, when father didn't allow, okay. Yang ni, uh, describe one problem faced by the main character. One problem. Apa dia? When father does not allow Dawan to go study in the city. Okay, Dawan. Apa? Opinion awak macam mana dengan cara ini diselesaikan? Okay, masuk perangan baru. Dawan tries very hard to convince father she did not reveal or run away. Develop secara konsisten dengan point ini dan bagi pendapat awak. Masuk perangan baru, bagi opinion, Dawan maturity, Dawan's maturity and deep respect to father in solving her problem. Betul tak? Macam mana? Okay, apa yang dia buat? Saya terangkan. And yang ni juga um, uh, bravery, nilai yang penting untuk Dawan bagi kenapa? Bagi reason kat sini dia minta dua jadi ni perangan satu, ni perangan dua. Terangkan secara detail. Ni bersama one scene that make you either happy or sad. Oh, pilih terus siap-siap. Scene apa? Happy or happy. Scene dia apa? When Dawan leave the village to go to the city. Kenapa? Bagi dua sebab. Ni perangan isi. Uh, ini scene kena terangkan satu perangan. Perangan isi ni. Ni perangan kedua isi. Ni perangan ketiga isi. Jadi total ada lima perangan. Ah. Intro, dua, tiga body, satu conclusion. Okay. Intro, body dan satu conclusion. Okay, next. Uh, one character, Dawan. Root good role model kepada teenager. Bagi. Okay, apa? Dia minta apa ni? Describe the character. Kalau tak describe character tu, salah. Jadi, awak kena contoh yang siap-siap. She's a poor girl. She lived in the village. She studied at village school. Okay. And then bagi reason. Terus tulis dua reason. Masuk perangan baru, smart. Buktinya apa? Pendapat awak apa? Respect her parent. Apa bukti dia? Apa yang jadi? So, be on that consistently. Okay. Um, and then that one has to struggle. Pertama, nampaklah kat sini kan. Struggle to get father's permission. Struggle to get support from head monk. And then, ni isi, ni isi. Dua perenggan isi. And then, an, an important decision made by one of the character. Father finally decided to give permission to that one. Apa kesan dia? How it affects other character? Kesan dia kepada Kwai. Ha, ini saya letak kesan dia kepada Kuai. Kuai tak boleh pergi ke bandar. Kedua, Kuai sedih. Ketiga, Kuai become a better person and he was not selfish anymore. Ini betul. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay, sample answer. Uh, okay, ini kita tengok bila, uh, mana kita cakap kata kunci yang digunakan. Ada tak kata kunci? Kita tengok, ini pelajar yang sederhana lah. Kita tengok ada decision, ada perkataan effect dia Kuai. And then kita cari isi. So this is very simple, very basic. Dia pun jawab pendek saja, tapi ada markah lah. At least dia jawab macam ni. Ini hanya isi saja tau. Uh, tak ada lagi masuk intro dengan dengan conclusion. So we need to see complete. Kalau tak lengkap perenggan awak, karangan awak, kita tak boleh balik bagi markah tinggi. Untuk karangan. Mesti wajib ada intro, wajib ada satu body, wajib ada satu conclusion. Okay, this, this is one of the excellent answer. Uh, very uh, consistent. Ini hanya perangan satu sahaja. Tengok, a good role model to teenagers. Tengok, nampak si satu respect parents. Okay. Uh, father's blessing, honest. Apa lagi? Father, pasal father, father. And then father lagi. Never talk back. Uh, As her. Uh, Okay, okay, she talk back. Dia ni agak tegas. Okay. But she did not lose her respect to father. Nampak? Uh, then apa lagi ya? Omega. She was not rude. Nampak kita jumpa lagi. Jadi perangkat ini dibina dengan uh, consistently dia sebut pasal respect, being respectful. Dia tak kurang hajar. Jadi kita nampak elemen tu develop secara consistent. Ini bagus. Kalau dia buat macam ni consistent untuk isi pertama dengan isi kedua dia boleh dapat markah full mark pun boleh. Ah, macam tu. Uh, okay, ni dia bagi, oh ni dia bagi opinion lah. I think teenager should, like me, should follow the exemplary act. Nampak teenager, dia ulang balik teenager sebab dia fokus kepada teenagers. Janganlah cakap pasal benda lain. Bila dia tanya pasal teenager, kau fokus pada teenager sahaja. Jangan pergi tanya pasal uh, semua orang ke. You should focus on what is it is us kalau dia minta. Okay, when we are obsessed, we are dream and we get rejection, parent, we become rude. And respect them. Okay, bagus. And then respectful dengan parents. Nampak? That's why she's a great, great role model. Nampak? Konsisten pasal role model daripada awal sehingga ke akhir. Hujung ayat dia ikat semula ayat ni dengan soalan. Ada perkataan great role model. Ada perkataan teenagers. Hmm, macam itulah. So that's all about it. I hope that it helps you. 
Um, so uh, let me know if, if you have any question. Hope that it helps. It give uh, it give you the tips and it helps you to to guide you to answer the question for the paper tomorrow, inshallah. And hopefully that you will share this with your friends and also whoever that needs it. That's all. Thank you so much. Assalamualaikum. I can fly the sky. Never gonna stay. They got your chances.